Origins of Life. Abiogenesis. Abiogenesis is a natural process in which life came from non-living matter. Since we have no definitive proof of how it happened, there are many different theories about how this occurred, and most theories are disputed constantly whilst new ones are thought of. Theories consist of panspermia theory, space dust meteoroids created life, spontaneous generation theory, life just popped up out of nowhere, and primordial soup theory, life started from photosynthesis. Early Conditions of the Universe and Earth The Earth formed roughly 4.5 billion years ago, and life probably began between 3.5 and 3.9 billion years ago. When Earth was created, the only chemical elements present in the atmosphere were hydrogen, helium, and lithium. These elements played a crucial part in the creation of early stars. Early stars were massive and short-lived. When these stars exploded, they produced heavier elements through stellar nucleosynthesis. As a result of undergoing stellar nucleosynthesis, heavier elements were ejected, among them was carbon and oxygen. These heavy elements that were emitted from dying stars allowed for the formation of new objects such as rocky planets and other bodies. The Nebular Hypothesis According to the Nebular Hypothesis, the formation and evolution of the solar system began 4.6 billion years ago with a gravitational collapse of a small part of a giant molecular cloud. The majority of the collapsing mass collected together to form the Sun, while the rest flattened into a protoplanetary disk which later became the planets, moons, asteroids, and other small celestial bodies. When the Earth was formed approximately 4.5 billion years ago, it was inhospitable to any living organism. Spontaneous Generation Aristotle was the first philosopher to propose this idea. It was continued to be used until the 19th century when it was accredited for the idea that maggots spontaneously came from rotting meat. Francesco Reddy was the first to prove this theory wrong. By preventing flies to lay eggs in the rotting meat, he prevented any maggots from spontaneously being made. So basically, it's the idea that life just appears from nothing like maggots spawning from rotting meat. Francesco Reddy disproved this theory by showing that maggots came from eggs laid by flies. Earliest biological evidence for life. The most commonly accepted location of the root of the tree of life is between a monophyletic domain bacteria and a clade formed by archaea and eukarya. Archaea constitute a domain of single celled organisms. These microorganisms lack cell nuclei and are therefore prokaryotes. Eukaryotes are organisms whose cells have a nucleus enclosed with membranes, unlike prokaryotes, which have no membrane bound organelles. The earliest physical evidence so far consists of microfossils, fossils that are generally between 0.01 mm and 1 mm in size the study of which requires the use of light or electron microscopy. The time periods between such devastating environmental events, changes in the orbits of giant planets and the following sterilization, give time windows for the possible origin of life in the early environment. Primordial Soup Hypothesis Idea came about by Russian scientist Alexander Oferin and English geneticist John Haldane. The basic building blocks of life came from simple molecule which formed in the atmosphere. They began in a warm pond slash ocean form a combination of chemicals that form amino acids. Energized by lightning and the rain from the atmosphere created the organic soup. First organisms would have to be simple hydrotrophs. Oprin and Haldane both came up with the idea separately. Oprin in 1924 and Haldane in 1929. Theory says the building blocks of life came from amino acids. However, there were some problems with this theory. Amino acids are building blocks of proteins, not these simple structures. Primordial soup to dilute to achieve anything, because it can't spontaneously generate proteins and no mechanism to concentrate and make proteins. The second law of thermodynamics says that the system becomes less and less organized over time. Amino acids can't form a protein spontaneously over time and become more organized. These are the links from which we got our information. Thank you.